Hello students, welcome back to EVS class of grade 2. Today we are going to learn about the chapter Story of my family. I am Gangotri and I hope you are all ready with a notebook and a pencil. Remember, you can pause this video anytime you want. Now, you might be wondering why I have drawn a picture of tree. Because today we are going to learn or define family tree, great grandparents, ancestors, are also we will be describing different levels of a family tree. When we study this, we might come across few new words. They are photographs, family, family tree, grandparents, great grandparents, ancestors, crows, birth, older. This meaning of these families will be known when we explain the chapter. Now, I want you to note down these new words in your notebook by pausing this video. Alright, so now let us move further. And now let us see what Raj has found out. Let me read out things section for you. Raj found an old photograph of his family. He could not identify the child in the photograph. His father said that the child is Raj's grandfather. He was surprised to know this. Let me explain. So as you all see, this is the picture of Raj's family wherein the meaning of photograph is picture or a pic wherein he could not found this child in the photograph. Child in the sense a smaller one okay or a kid. He was worried about who was this and then he asked his father. Raj's father said, the smaller one or a child in the photograph was Raj's grandfather. And Raj was really surprised to know that. And I have a question for you now. Do you have any such photographs with your family? If yes, good. If no, you can also take a photograph with your family, your father, your grandfather and all. Alright, now let us study more. Just imagine if we draw the charts of our families, what do they look like? As you can see in the picture, you can see the picture of uh, family members. But I have asked if we draw the charts of our family, what do they look like? Alright, let us see how it looked like. Alright, so now here is the answer for that. If we draw the charts of our family, it looks like this. Alright, on the top, as you can see on the top, you can see or you can read as grandfather, grandmother. Good. And now, as we all can see in this top level, top level, you can see grandmother and grandfather. They are your 
grandparents and in the next level you can see father you can see mother right and in the same level you can also see uncle aunt all right enough enough if you come down you can also see me as in me if I am there otherwise you if you are there then brother sister and then cousins when in cousins in the sense they are the sons or daughters of uncle and aunt okay so this is how the chart of a family looks like all right enough a drawing or a chart that shows how different members of the family are related to one another is called a family tree i'll repeat it again you'll have to pay attention here a drawing or a chart that shows how the different members of the family are related to one another is called a family tree all right so let me also read out this a detailed chart of a family looks like a tree okay so what it says a detailed chart of a family looks like a tree okay so here you can see the picture of tree correct right a family tree it also says family tree and let me show you how my family tree look like all right as you can see in this picture you can see a tree and you can see me my brother my sister and my father and mother my parents and you can also draw the same kind of family tree by pasting your picture your sister and brother pictures if you have father and mother and your parents or grandparents picture too did you see how my family tree looks like good so it is looking like a tree a normal tree and now our family trees consists of our parents their parents and us it also has the parents of grandparents and now you might be thinking what do they call us so the parents of grandparents are called great grandparents what do they call what do we call them as yes great grandparents good so all the people in our families who lived before our grandparents are called ancestors so now it is very important to know this it is also one of the new word you might be thinking great parents or great grandparents is fine but what do we call all the people in our family who lived